From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. The biggest week that there was continues as more corporate earnings will come in this week, and we'll see whether there's more misses on that earnings front like we saw last week. We're going to see the latest numbers on the inflation, the recession, and labor this week as unemployment claims surged over the last two weeks but pulled back a little bit last week. We'll see the latest details across the board. But inflation surged on Friday going into the weekend. This is great news for your benefits, yes, because your benefits are going to see the biggest rise of a generation. We'll go over the calculation across the board. This is why you got to get a force must check that is in every U.S. state. Inflation is not peaked, and we're going to go over these incredible force to must checks that are landing in every U.S. place where you get them. We'll go over how for you to get them in this recording. If there are no other checks anywhere else, you qualify. Single individual, $75,000 or less. And if you are on benefits, you qualify. How much is it? It's about $100,000. Four stimulus checks in every U.S. state, not going to happen anywhere else except here. I'm going to show you in the second half of this video how to get these incredible checks. Step one, go on to this video, become a member. Step two, stay the second half as we go over the breaking news across the board. In a week in which we had a lot of earning misses, what would we predict for the new week? Plus, I'll have analysis in the second half of a confusing subject matter. Are we out of the bear market or are we not? We'll be looking at the week that was upon us and the week that's come in. Plus, will be the analysis of why your benefits are going up so much, and then we'll look at those unemployment numbers and why they're likely right back to 260. But it's a fascinating week, and we have so much to go over with those big checks. You want to get these checks because they're nowhere else, about $100,000. And you're going to meet one viewer who got 80 of these checks. You heard me right, eight zero. Massive sums of money the viewers are getting. You can get it as well. I have full faith in you. See the second half. Go under this video, subscribe. You're watching LA, the number three most watched financial news channel in America, expanding dramatically. And we have a lot of money to go over today. We have a lot to prepare for the new week, inflation, recession, labor, and housing. We'll be talking on housing as well. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, it's a big day. It's a big broadcast. I'm excited you're here. And let's get to the breaking news starting right here, right now, as Afternoons gets underway. Good afternoon, everybody. Hope you're having a beautiful day. It is gorgeous, but a little bit warm again here in Southern California for July 31, 2022. One of the things we learned last week is data does not lie. We already know that data tells us where we're going and what's happening. Last year, in spring of last year, I was the only American broadcaster report we were going to have runaway inflation of 8%. I gave you the number 8%, and I said December it happened. And I said it was not going to be temporary, not transitory. It was not. And we learned this last Friday when, going into this weekend, the another number was released and it shows inflation has not peaked. That's great news for your benefits. We'll explain to you why in a second. Then I also said we're going into recession. I was the only broadcaster in February this year saying we're going into recession. That happened this last Thursday. Plus, I was the only one I saw that said we're going to go to 260,000 new jobless claims and the labor market's not strong. That happened this Thursday. So the question of du jour, <laughs> the question du jour, sort of like the soup du jour, is whether we are out of a bear market and into a bull market. I'll analyze that on this big second half. We'll go over your big checks. We'll go over the big lift of your benefits. We'll go over inflation, recession, the economy. You found the channel to go over that with you. We're going to start it right now with the earnings recession. The earnings recession has become hideously confusing, but we've seen a parallel among certain industries. Certain industries miss on that second quarter earnings release this last week and the week before. The misses have been in social media stocks like Twitter and Snap. They have been misses also in the technology like Alphabet and Microsoft, and also in the fast foods like Chipotle. But when you go over to automotive, Ford beat beat really well. Travel and Leisure, Hilton, the Royal Caribbeans, and the Carnival Cruises beat as well. Then we go over the pharmaceuticals, they beat additionally. 
loss, the credit cards, Visa and Amex, beat really well. But when you turn back to home improvement, like Black & Decker, massive miss. So going into the weekend, we had Apple, Roku, Intel reporting corporate earnings and Amazon. And if you wanted to look at that and project them based upon that data, would you get it right? You'd get it wrong. Why? Because you'd say Apple, I think, is going to miss, and Amazon, I think, is going to miss. Because Walmart projected downward. Retail missed all the week before. Amazon beat. Apple beat. <laughs> Roku beat. And Intel, you would say, well, Intel probably missed because of Microsoft and also Alphabet. Well, you would have gotten that right. Intel going to the weekend declined 22% year-to-date. Ouch. <laughs> Missing consensus by 14%. Ouch. As its top and bottom were dramatic misses. There you go. So this new week, we're going to look and see whether we see a correlation among retail and tech really hurting and the other industries doing really well or it's just dependent upon how they pivot. More importantly, you know what I'm looking for? I'm looking for third quarter guidance, third and fourth quarter guidance, because that's going to give us guidance on whether we're coming out of this bear market or not. In the week that was the most important week of the entire summer, the data continues this week as well. It's still a big week this week, and I'll have more about what to see this week starting on Monday morning on this channel. But we went into the weekend with perhaps one of the most important numbers that we had been waiting for all week. It didn't come to after the close. Friday. What was it? Inflation. Inflation, the PCEI, the Personal Income Expenditure Index, comes in between the CPI and the PPI. Comes in between. They come once a month. This comes in between in the two month, two week mark before the next CPI read. And what happened? Do you think it peaked? Do you think it went higher? Do you think it went lower? Jump in the live chat if you don't know the answer and post it right now. If you projected it went higher, you got it right. The Personal Consumption Expenditure Price Index rose 6.8% for the month of June, and this is the highest number since 1982. Astronomical. It's always 1981, 1982 since these numbers is out of control. So, it means inflation is not peaked. It means inflation is still going up since three, two, well now it's almost three weeks ago since we got that CPI number. In fact, when you look at food and energy, take food and energy out like gasoline, the core PCE is now 4.8% up from the month of, from, from the year before. This is the primary bar barometer they use by the Federal Reserve, and this is generally what they look to determine if inflation has gone higher. Big news for your benefits, why? Because your benefits are going up, the biggest of a generation and the biggest of your lifetime, because inflation has now not peaked. You and I know, in the last two weeks, we're looking for a number coming in two weeks from now, and it is the CPI for the month of July. We're ending July, the month, the PPI for July, and the retail sales for the month of July. And this number, released right here, is the single biggest, greatest, most indicative number of what we're going to see with that CPI just released going into the weekend. It is great news because guess what? Your benefit's going up a lot. How much? And ooh, you, if you're on SSA, SSI, SSDI, VARB, all the benefits. How much? About $5,000. What months are we looking at? Those three months. We'll go over the calculation of this in a second. First, we need to understand they're going up. Astronomical amount of money. Not just for one month, lifetime. We'll explain the calculation in just a second. But first, let's go to the issue of inflation has still not peaked. Let's understand why inflation still not peaked, because the Federal Reserve cannot battle inflation by interest rate spikes. I've been saying he's not going to get it right. He hasn't. I said in spring of this year, almost February, that the Federal Reserve is going to continue to raise interest rates and inflation's not going to go down because inflation is being caused by gasoline and it's also being caused by supply chain disruption. Raising interest rates doesn't battle that. And we saw that two weeks ago. Two weeks ago when we had the CPI beat on Wednesday, then on Thursday, the PPI beat, then on Friday, the retail sales beat. Let's go over why this is important for you. Let's look at that CPI first. The CPI was in the May month, the, the May month, an 8.6% reading. Then in the month of June, it surged to a 9.1%, the biggest increase since 1981. Here we go, 9.1% astronomically through the roof. When Wall Street is expecting an 8.8 .8 read, highest raise since 1981. 
Then we had the day after on Thursday, this is July 14th, when the PPI, which is for producer price index for wholesalers, with the wholesalers buying for the products, not for you, and their numbers surge out of control to 11.3%. This is year to date. This is a June number just off the all-time record of 11.6. Then on Friday, that was the 15th of July, the retail sales surged 1%. You and I know that when we talk about retail sales, it is not that you're spending more money because you have more money. It is because that one product is now more expensive a month later. So this is big news for your benefits. Now let's go over why. Your benefits are going up a lot, and we need to see three months of data. And those three months of data we have to see are July, released in August. August released in September. And September released in October of the CPI. All right, now let's go over what's going on for those July, August, and September numbers and why this PCEI is so important. The PCEI, obviously, is released two weeks going into the CPI. So it's really, really close to when the CPI is read. If you're with this channel last month, I told you the CPI was going to go higher and you knew it and agreed to. Why? Because we had just gotten the PCEI just 14 days before the CPI. It went up. And I said, well, it went up. So hence the CPI is going to go up. Here you go. Going into the weekend Friday, the PCEI going up. We know then two weeks from now, the CPA may, CPI may be going up as well. Let's go over why this is important for your benefits. Your benefits are tied to something called COLA, C-O-L-A, cost of living adjustment. And that COLA is determined by another number. It's called the CPI-W. Yes, it's a subsection of the CPI. And that CPI-W is determined in COLA, but not for the whole year, and only determines it based upon three months. Yes, those three months are the month of July, August, and September. If that CPI remains as high as it is for three more months, July, August, and September, then your benefits are going up a lot. How much? Let's go over the calculation right now, then. Automatic? Yes, automatic, direct deposit, otherwise in the mail, however you get your benefits. Everyone, yes. You, SSA, SSI, SSDI, VA, and more. Same amount? No. Some of you will go up 5000 Some will go up a little bit less. Some will go up more. What three months? Those three months. Same percentage? Absolutely. Astronomical, incredible news across the board. This, my friends, is why you have to get a force symbol check in this, in this second half of this video. Force symbol check is now in every U.S. state. There's no other checks. There will be no other checks anytime soon. I'll show you how to get these incredible checks in the big second half. What do you do? Go on to this video. Join as a member. Join as a member to get that incredible newsletter that goes over the raise of your benefits, that goes over inflation, recession, the economy. The jobs, everything you need to know, gasoline, wheat, and corn. Joe, go in on this video, become a member. Get that incredible membership newsletter. And we'll go over those big checks in just a second in the big second half. And I'll have a preview of them for you in a second. So there you go. Your benefits are going up a lot. Your benefits are going up astronomical. But as one viewer, I think it was either Lynn Glenn or Diane said, when do we know for certain the percentage rift, lift? We generally would have to wait to the August data's release. That's the final of the three months released in the month of September. But if the data looks really strong halfway through that three-month run, which is about, you know, basically early August, then we can extrapolate and say, hey, it's looking really strong around this percentage. Here we go. You're looking really good. Incredible. Congratulations. Everything you've ever wanted, whether it's SS300, SS400, fist stimulus, swapping color for inflation, it's all right now, it's all right there, it, this is that, and it's a reality. It became a reality for you. Congratulations. Now, let's go over the other things that are happening across the board that are so important. This new week, we'll see the latest numbers on the labor front, released on Thursday morning, live on air on Mornings LA. And those numbers have surged out of control. They did pull back a little bit this last Thursday. And ultimately, again, this is why we go back to data. The President of the United States on Friday said the labor market is the best of a generation. It's not. That's a untrue data re reporting. It's an untrue number. The greatest numbers of, the, of unemployment were likely back in 2021, not in 2022. Let's look at the numbers right now and understand what you need to know. 
unemployment has surged dramatically. It was 160 back in April, then surged dramatically. As I said it would, it went to 200. I said it would go to 230. It was at 230 for three weeks, then 235, then 240. Then two weeks ago, it was at 251. I said this Thursday, this last Thursday that was upon us, it was going to go to 260. Did I get that right as well? I did. It was just the wrong week. What happened? The Department of Labor went back and adjusted the prior week, the week before, from 251 up to 260. There's our number, 260. Told you it was going to happen. And then this week that came in Thursday was down about 5,000. So when the President of the United States says strongest labor market of, uh, of a generation, Hideously untrue, just really untrue. When Janet Yellen says a v still, still a very strong labor market, uh, strong, I guess, is a word that can have multiple meanings, but I say that when the labor market is the weakest it's been since 2021, then that's not the strongest labor market. It's just simply untrue. And when you look at the number of job creations, they're not particularly strong. When you look at the, at the trajectory of unemployment, it's going up. And that is what you expect when the other elements are kicking in. As interest rates go up, it costs more money to run a business. And if a business is making less money, they're going to lay people off. Corporations from Walmart and, and everywhere else say, we have too many employees on the floor, we're laying them off. When corporate layoffs are announced and labor rates and, and, and labor numbers get worse, you can't call it a strong economy. I don't care if it's Tesla, I don't care if it's Coinbase, I don't care if it's Walmart or other companies like Netflix. They're all announcing massive layoffs, even Microsoft, announcing massive layoffs, not 200 employees, you know, 10% of their workforce, 20% of their workforce. This is major layoffs, and it's not particularly a strong labor market. So the President of the United States is trying to spin you with false facts. It's simply not true. Ultimately, we stay with the true facts here across the board. If the facts are not good, we report they're not good. If they're great, we report they're great. That's why this channel is winning. Now, let's go to the next part of the equation, which is the recession. The U.S. economy fell in a recession this year because two negative quarters of GDP growth were posted. We learned that on Thursday, but we already knew it was coming. It was another week in which data won. Data won because people with analysis that does not that's not bound that is not grounded in, in data doesn't make any sense. Two weeks ago, when we ended the month of June, the Atlanta Fed GDP now, which is sub which is subsection of the Atlanta Fed, the Federal Reserve, has a live tracking tool, has a 30-year track record, it's perfect track record. And it looked at the months ending in June, the second quarter of this year. They said we show a negative quarter again of GDP growth, gross national product. A recession is an economic term. A recession is an economic term. It's not a term that has informality that you can sort of define it how you wish. It's an economic term. And it's defined as two consecutive, consecutive quarters, which are three months, so that's six months together, of negative GDP growth. One quarter and then another quarter negative GDP growth. That's the only definition of recession. It's not up open for dispute, the definition. And what happened? The Atlanta Fed GDP now was released in the month of uh, January, uh, July 1, right after we had sec ended the second quarter, and it posted negative GDP growth. I said, going into the Thursday, the announcement from the Department of Labor would be two negative quarters of GDP growth. Get ready for an announcement of a recession. But somewhere along the way this week, going into Thursday, some analysts said, I think we're, we're going to see a positive GDP number. Uh, why? <laughs> why? Why, 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 why? Th again, that's not grounded in any data. That's just, you know, shooting from the hip conjecture. And I said, I'd like to see the data because there's no data that says that's going to happen. And it didn't happen. It did not happen. The Thursday number that came in from the Department of Labor was a negative number, hence two negative quarters of GDP growth, hence a recession. The President of the United States believes that because he's the President of the United States, because he's the man in control, he can redefine a definition of an economic term. You can't do that. I don't care if you're a Republican. I don't care if you're a Democrat. Imagine if Donald Trump did this. Imagine what CNN would say. Fake fact, fake fact, fake facts. Then when a president who's a Democrat is in office, does it, what happens? Well, they call it rose-colored glasses. Uh, the, the more correct term is fake facts. It's not rose-colored glasses. It's fake facts. It's not a term that you can change the definition because you don't like it the way it's revealing a result. Now, the way you deal with it is the way Jan Yellen does, deals with it, the way I deal with it, which is 
explaining out what's going on. She said, I don't want to get caught up in the term recession because it doesn't manifest everything that usually happens in a recession. She's correct. She says that um, it is very atypical in what's going on. She's correct. She says we don't see broad affection of a recession. Uh, that is a little bit putting the cart, cart before the horse. Let me tell you what's going on. What's going on is that everyone knows the sister and brother, the recessions are not two weeks long. We all know they go on for a while. They don't go on for one month. They don't go on for six months. They go on for a while. And so immediately Jan Yellen's trying to tell you what this recession is based upon what's going on in the month of July. Uh, yeah, that just smells like trying to spin the future before we live the future. Ultimately, what we see right now is not always what happens with recession. In the last recession in the U.S. economy, we had certain parts and certain industries go into recession very badly, very quickly, when other parts were. Some parts got really badly hurt in the recession. Other parts never got really that badly hurt. Certain geographical territories went into the recession, East Coast, before the West Coast did. And the East Coast came out of the recession almost six months before the West Coast. So just, just and that was six months. That was six months. So just to, to sort of project what's going to happen or define the situation now, when it's just started, again, that's very politically minded type of commentary. Recession is defined as two negative quarters of GDP growth. You're in it. <laughs> That's why you have to get a forced stimulus check in every U.S. state. Let's go over that forced stimulus check that is in every U.S. state. This is, my friends, why you want to get this money. I've been telling you since the month of February we're going to recession. Now we're in a recession. Now people are zooming on this channel. Numbers are way up on this channel, as we knew there were going to be. Stimulus stampede is starting on this channel. Membership is way up on this channel. Why? Because people now know we're in a recession. Welcome if you're one of those new viewers. The good news for you is that there's still money, and we're going to go over that big money. This is the only money there is. There is no other stimulus money. This is the only money there is. Go on to this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. And stay the second half as we go over each of these incredible checks. But first, let's go over what those checks are by understanding where they came from and what's at issue. They are approximately $100,000. My goodness. That came from executive action from Joseph Biden in the month of March. These incredible stimulus checks are a series of different items that you need to do something to go get them. And you qualify. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. If you rent, if you own, if you're on benefits, if you're not on benefits. If you're you retired, if you're not retired, go get these incredible checks. Become a member. Go right in this video and become a member. These are the only checks that there are. These are the only checks that there will be anytime soon. And you need to go get them. Become a member and stay with me over the big second half and we'll go over all these incredible checks. One of the great benefits of being a member is not only the membership newsletter, but also what's in the newsletter and what's also in the newsletter is the worksheets. The worksheets is a PDF, a series of pages, about eight pages in length for you to print out from your phone, print out from your computer, or take notes on a separate piece of paper. And what do we know about that first page of the PDF today? Inflation, we now know that the PCEI released on Friday going into the weekend showed that it surged to the highest level since 1981 or 82. It has not yet peaked inflation. Recession, we now know because those two negative quarters posted of negative GDP growth from the Department of Labor. This last Thursday, we are in a recession. Labor. We know that labor and unemployment numbers are surging. Layoffs are growing. 260,000 new jobless claims the week before. 255 approximately. Layoffs continue to grow and hiring freezes as well. Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve met this last Wednesday, did exactly what I said they were going to do. 75 basis point increase. They're gone for August. I think the fact that they're gone for August is a big one because there's nothing to deal with inflation, if you believe they're dealing with inflation, between now and when they return in September. A new poll by Wall Street analysts, you know, at the moment, they'll change by tomorrow, <laughs> says that only 30% of them believe that the interest rate spike in September will be 75 basis point. Well, good luck, because I believe it's 75 basis point. Let's look at the second page of those incredible worksheets. This is the one that gave a person a big surprise. It's incredible table. These worksheets are proprietary to LLA. You're not going to see a newsletter anywhere else. You're not going to see a worksheet anywhere else. That's why this channel works. On this second page, you have a table. 
a table for you to take notes on the incredible checks you apply for, the dates you apply for, the periods of payment, your contact in a person and their name or her, or her name, the periods of payment. One viewer was filling this out, filled it out completely, but forgot she had it. Oh, boy. Forgot she had it until she got that email two Thursdays ago. That email said, ma'am, you've been approved. Congratulations. What she get approved for? Check B. Wow, that's great news. It gets better. She got approved for her mortgage. Wow, it gets better. She got approved for 18 months of her mortgage. My goodness. 18 checks? Yes, 18 checks, 18 months of her mortgage. It gets better. She also applied for all her utilities. Utilities, maybe about four of them, four utilities plus mortgage, that's five checks, five checks per month for 18 months. You could do the math. 15 times eight, folks, that's 80 to 100 checks. Congratulations to her. Her life has been changed. Her story is not unique. It's happening all the time to members of this channel. Go into this video, become a member right now. What are you waiting for? Another viewer going in the weekend, Spelly got approved for check A last week. He also got check C, lots of months for that as well. His great message is keep with it. He applied for check A. And he said somewhere along the process, they said, you know, he didn't dot his T or dot his T, cross his T, dot his I correctly. Do it again, Mr. Spelly. He did it again and he got approved. He says, stay with it. You'll get approved. I love that. Motivate one another. Jump in the live chat, post your success story, whatever it is right now, because you'll inspire someone else. This stimulus, what do we learn about that today? We'll learn that inflation's not peaked. Great news for your raise of your benefits because that looks like your benefits are continually going up. It's a great situation, a great indicator. Seven stimulus student loan debt forgiveness and, eight, and six stimulus gasoline prices. Student loan debt forgiveness. Well, the president has COVID, has tested positive for COVID again, I want to say. So he is back in self-quarantine. That means that any formal signature ceremony for student loan debt forgiveness with other members of Congress around him is not happening anytime this week. I don't know the time schedule of his quarantine versus when Congress leaves town, but it's getting really tight. I had always said he's going to have that signature ceremony before they leave for the August recess. So I don't know what he's going to do. Is he going to leave the signature ceremony to October? That would look really sleazy. It would look really sleazy. He can do it by Zoom. I know he doesn't want it by Zoom because he wants the, you know, the pomp and circumstance. And then let's go to gasoline. Gasoline is a very, very bizarro. And let me tell you what's going on. Gasoline is defined by two numbers. International price of Brent crude, which is going up. U.S. domestic unleaded, which is going down. But U.S. domestic unleaded is not in a vacuum. It is not by itself. It's dependent on the international price of Grand crude. What do you need to know? The price of gasoline in the United States is going down because oil traders say they're trading down oil futures based upon the belief that a recession is going to negatively impact spending on gasoline. And because of that, they're trading it down. They're not training it down because of the president's policies of releasing 1 million barrels of gasoline per month uh, of the U.S. strategic reserves for six months, which, by the way, is coming up. Let's count it out. March, April, May, June, July, August. Well, there you go. We're up at six months. Uh, so <laughs> the thought that the U.S. domestic unleaded will stay down for the rest of this year or at least, you know, even 30 more days is not believable. It's not because of the president's policy. It is because oil traders have traded it down. In the big second half, we're going to go over all these incredible force stimulus checks in every U.S. state. You get them. You get them. I feel your strength. I feel your motivation. Your motivation. Go on in this video, become a member. And the big second half, we'll go over each of these incredible checks one at a time. These are the checks that are happening. These are the checks that are here. These are the checks that viewers have gotten. And it's your opportunity to get them in the big second half. Then I'll be coming back to going over what's happening with the housing industry. And I'll be looking at whether we're out of a bear market or still in a bear market. Confusing? I'll explain it all for you. Become a member. I'll see you back in 60 seconds on this big weekend edition of a very, very important day with your money, inflation, recession, labor, stimulus, and more. It's afternoons, and I'll be back with you in 60 seconds as the news continues from the shores of Santa Monica, California. See you back in 60 seconds as Afternoons LA continues today with another recording of all the breaking news.
If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And, and the excitement continues right now for July 31st. 2022 from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Huge week is coming upon us. We have another big week coming, and it is a blockbuster. With the labor numbers, inflation, recession all kicking in, we got a lot to go over, plus the latest on the earnings recession and the big question mark about your big money. We'll have all those incredible details this week. Did you become a member during the commercial break? Do it now. Go into this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. And welcome to the hundreds of new members joining daily and the countless surprise new members who have upgraded from Purple Hawk to Purple Power. Very exciting. In this big second half, we're going to go over all those incredible checks starting right now. Back in the month of March, viewers said, LA, can you find us some stimulus checks? And I found them. By executive action from Joseph Biden, I had two focuses because I care about you. And though both of those focuses were fulfilled. One, I wanted big checks because you need big checks to survive this recession. It potentially could be two years. And I found them. A series of different checks. I gave you a letter in system two, starting with check A, approximately $100,000. Number two, Brought up eligibility. I want to make sure you qualify, and you do. Single individual, seventy-five thousand less. Go get them. Married couple, one hundred fifty thousand less. Go get them. If you rent, if you own, if you're on benefits, or if you're not on benefits, go get them as well. Number three, I want to put them in a simple, easy way delivery for you to get them. And what is that delivery? The newsletter delivered to members of L Light, members of this channel. And it is so straightforward. So let's go over all those incredible checks. You ready? I'm ready. And we're going to go over more details about one of the checks in the big, in this big second half. We start with check A. Check A is a wonderful $6,500 to $12,000 for a check in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 less. Go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less. Go get it. And if you rent and if you're on benefits, go get it as well. It is check A, $6,500 to $12,000. How do you get it? Step one, go into this video and join the channel. Join the channel, become a member. Like the hundreds that join daily, like the countless that are upgrading from Purple Hawk to Purple Hour, join and become a member. Get that incredible membership newsletter Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alerts. Then go down the membership newsletter to you find check A. Click the link and you go right in and get that check. That is what Spelly got last week and you can get as well. Countless viewers have gotten check A. But you're not going to stop there yet. You're going to go get check B. That is what that viewer out of Florida got. 80 of these checks. My goodness. 15 to 80,000. Well, sometimes it's even more than that amount of money. And it's for you. Single individual, 75,000. Let's go get it. If you're on benefits, go get it as well. How do you get it? Step one, become a member. Step two, get that membership newsletter. Go down to check B where it says check B. Learn about more about it. Click the link. It goes into a nice white website. And then choose your state and apply. My goodness. Let's look at how we've done. Check A, 12000 Check B, 80000 That's $12,000 right there. That's not 12000 That's $100,000 right there. $100,000 between check A and check B. But now time for another check. Check C. Check C is incredible. It is absolutely incredible. 
averaging about 45000 A lot of you have gotten over 150000 It's at least $2,000 a month over 12 months. How do you get this? Step one, go under this video, become a member. Then open that membership newsletter and go down to check C. It tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. In the case of check C, there is at least 12 places to reach out to. And you have five utility bills, probably, if you include your rent or your mortgage. So that's five checks per month. Five checks per month with 12 opportunities approximately to reach out to. That is 60 possible places to get paid checks from. Incredible. 60 plus possible checks. Incredible. Go down that membership newsletter and get that incredible details today. The success stories of Check C have been on this channel for a long time because this channel has gotten people $50 million when it launched in spring of 2020. A lot of that money has been Check C. And let's look at some of the success stories, just a few, this is just a sampling, of people and what they've gotten. If you want to get this type of money for rent, go get Check C. From Nisi, Richard, Nancy, Mark, and Elizabeth. Wow, up to $30,000, at least in that example. Utilities, Mark's brother-in-law got $15,000. Here's Angela and Mark and Nancy. The same brother-in-law is getting a quarter million dollars over 10 years to snap, then for combinations. Nisi went from $23,000 to $50,000. Mark went from $32,000 on this graphic to one sixty-six. He went to fifty, dollars and then he went to one hundred. dollars He got check B in one sixty-six. Lorraine went from one hundred five dollars to one fifty. dollars whether it's Nisi, Lorraine, Margaret, or Johnny, they all do the same thing. They keep on getting checks. Margaret keeps on getting checks. She had a meeting again the other day. She sent me a private message with her utility company to get more money. She got more money. Nisi keeps on getting wads of checks every few days. You want to keep on getting money. Get it now because remember, it's summer. It's still not that heating oil, big electric, big electric gas bill the winter you want to get these bills lined up right now and paid become a member number two whether it's Nisi, lorraine margaret or johnny they're always in the live chats because you need to know where this economy is and where it's going you need the data you don't need the politicians you don't need joseph biden to tell you it's not a recession you don't need jad yellen to tell you labor's weak or labor strong you need the data know the data so you can do the analysis yourself what were the new jobless claims this week what was the inflationary number released on Friday? You need the data because data doesn't lie. Now, let's go over what you need to do. Step one, go on this video, subscribe. Subscribe. You're watching LA Light, the number three most watched financial news channel in America. Broadcast, cable, local news, and streaming. It's expanding to number two. Why? Because a lot of things are going on. First, LA Light Live. Our live stream show on this channel has expanded from two hours to eight hours to now 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's a live stream. You can jump into the live stream at any moment, and the feed is updated for you with the breaking news. Number two, the website that started all, lalate.com, 20 years ago, has been rebranded to cover your latest news stories. Plus, this channel is getting a refresh shortly, and two new channels are coming on the horizon, LA2. It's called an LA3. They'll have a lot more for you to get from. So subscribe. Number two, go under this video and join the channel. Become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP. Get that membership signed up and get that incredible newsletter. Number three, go to the front of this channel and hit that bell to make sure your notifications are all set to all on. And there you go. Welcome to all the wonderful new members. If you're in the live chat, I'll give you a shout out. And give a shout out to new members when you see them in the live chat as well. It was a very big week that just ended. But the week that's starting, we'll have more data on those recessionary numbers. What I'm looking for, for earnings, more importantly now, is third quarter and fourth quarter guidance. Apple gave its guidance several weeks ago. The third quarter is going to be quite bad. Walmart gave us guidance last week. The third and fourth quarter is going to be bad. So we want to see that guidance for a series of reasons. One of the reasons is because we want to understand if we are coming out of the bear market or just still in it. We also want to see whether those unemployment numbers continue to surge because if they surge, that's more indication of businesses not doing well. People are losing their jobs because they're being laid off. It's not because they're quitting. 
And also, we want to see the latest inflationary indications, whether it's gasoline or it's milk and egg in the supermarket. You can jump in the live chat and tell me right now, has the milk and egg gone down or has it gone up? I've seen eggs actually go up more, but I've seen milk come down dramatically across the board. And then housing. Housing is one of the best indicators of where this economy is going. And the data for the housing market is not good, but it's also confusing. <laughs> What's going on here? The housing market is getting a little skittish. And what I mean by skittish, they're doing an about face. We had seen lumber prices go through the roof earlier this year. And everyone and their sister and brother blamed lumber on lumber prices on and supply chain disruption. And at the time, we all thought, why? Is it because you can't ship the lumber on the truck? You don't have the truck driver to ship the lumber? Well, that story didn't seem like it was going to survive much longer. And lumber has now fallen to the lowest levels of 2022. Interesting. Then, over the last two weeks, the mortgage applications have dropped to the lowest number in 20 years, meaning people are not applying for a mortgage. They're not buying a house, so they're not applying for a mortgage. And yet... On Wednesday, Jay Powell raised interest rates another 75 basis points, so you would presume mortgage rates would go up because it's, you know, interest rates, right? Wrong. Let me tell you what happened going into the weekend. This is a thing, this is an example of something that makes no sense, but it also shows you how you have to look at the data. What happened going into the weekend was the mortgage rates dropped dramatically in less than 24 hours and no one knows why but i just got to give you the data and then we'll do the analysis the mortgage rates back in the month of june were at the highest level of generation six percent up from three percent you know a year ago they're at six percent let's show you what happened on wednesday to thursday of this last week most people missed it because we don't watch mortgage rates on a, on a daily basis. Let me show you what happened. The 30-year fixed mortgage was at 5.54 on Wednesday. I mean, that's down a lot already from 6% early this year, uh, or the month before, 5.4%. But let me tell you, that's Wednesday. Let me tell you what happened Thursday. 5.22%. It fell a quarter of a percentage point in 24 hours. <laughs> it fell a quarter of a percentage point in 24 hours. That is shocking. In fact, it's so shocking that most people were dumbfounded by it. This is an exceptionally fast drop, wrote um, Matthew Graham of Mortgage Daily News. In a way, mortgage investors are trying to get ahead of the game. They're holding mortgages at a higher rate. They will lose money if they try to load these loans refinance too quickly lower. What am I equating the situation to? What I'm equating the situation to is that you have to presume that it looks like a bunch of people who thought they could hold a higher mortgage rate to you. And when you couldn't afford that mortgage rate, you simply didn't apply. And then they realized, wait a second, we're not making money if no one's applying for a mortgage. We have to do something. We have to pivot and drop the mortgage rate dramatically. And that is exactly what happened. Confusing? Yes. Uh, has explanation to it? Not really. But it's reflected in the data. We'll be tracking the story all this coming week where the mortgage rates drop dramatically as well. The other story that is very peculiar, very, very strange, and it shows you how data changes so quickly, so dramatically, that if you're not a, a stock trader, you may miss it as well. It is what happened in the equity market in the last seven days. It was middle last week when I said one broadcaster said, you know, do you feel regretful that you didn't buy stocks in June? And I said, why is he saying that? Because stocks are actually still going down. They're going downward in their trajectory. Well, there was a reason why he said it, because I was actually incorrect. The reason he said that is because that as unemployment surges, well, guess what? Stocks were going actually upward. Confusing? Yes. Let me tell you what happened. Stocks in the month of June were at the lowest level of the entire 52-week period. They went straight down to June. Then, out of nowhere, in June, they started doing this. June, 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 July, to about July 15th, July 16th. Out of nowhere, around July 20th, stocks just went, let me get in frame, straight up. Starting June, June, July 20th, just, you know, eight days ago, straight up. Then, this gets really weird. Here we go. Corporate earnings started coming in, and companies that missed on top and on bottom, revenue and net profits, they dropped 4%, 8% in one day, but after they dropped, they went straight back up. So if you missed the story about them the ne next day, 
they went straight up and they went up and they're still going up. The stock movement since about July 15th has been straight up. Stocks have gone straight up since July 15th, even when they missed on top and bottom revenue and net profits for second quarter of this year. End of a bear mark, end of a bear market. You know, it's this is one I cannot yet project, and I'm actually not going to project it because I'm going to tell you why. The data usually doesn't doesn't lie, but there's something conflicting going on here. The conflicting element is the following: one, the stocks that fell into a bear market are now above those bear market levels, so they're back into the bull market territory. That's indication number one. Other side. When you go into recession, you don't go down as a stock down 20%, you go down 45%. And a recession has just started, and we got two years of the recession, at least, or at least six months, and we've only been in there, you know, a blink of an eye. So to think that this is the bottom of the recession, it's not. To think that this is, this is the end of the recession, it's not. So what is the easiest way to analyze this? The easiest way to say it is the recession just begun. As we go lower, deeper into the recession, Stocks will pivot and they'll sometimes go off for periods of time and then go back down. But to claim it's the end of the bear market just because of 15 days of data or 10 days of data, no, that's not what you do. You can't project something out because of 15 days of data when all the other data suggests otherwise. When all the other data suggests we're in a recession and that a recession is not going to be here for one minute. It's going to be here for a while. And that in a recession, you go down 40%. We're not down 40%. We're only down 20%. In fact, now we're almost not down 20%. Then you have to say, no, it's a little bit too wishful thinking across the board. Ultimately, who's making money in this market? People trading. People are trading. If you want to buy the stock and trade it, buy it on the lows of a late June and sell it at the highs of right now, you can do really well. One viewer in a live feed I did on Saturday on Instagram said, I really miss your crypto shows. You are really good with it. Thank you. If, you, if this feels a little bit like crypto, it should when I'm recording right here. Crypto will be back. Stocks will be back on those third channels. There's a lot of places to put a lot of programming when you have three channels, and I really appreciate it. I don't believe that this is the time to be buying crypto. I don't believe this is the time to be buying stocks unless you're a trader. It's not some place to buy and hold. You have to have a dedicated time to watch it literally throughout the day because obviously I missed it. Obviously I missed it over a movement of 10 days or five days or six days. Too much happening. And imagine when I report to you that corporate earnings miss on top and bottom, they fall in one day, and I report to you they fall in one day, the next day they're up 10%. Yeah, you got to have enough time, dedication to watch all that. Tonight on Enies LA, we'll have a lot more details to go over, and it's a big show across the board. For you right now, it's important to know, number one, where this economy is. Number two, where your money is. First, this economy is in recession. Uh, number two, the economic hurt is not being felt broadly across all industries. It's being felt in disparity. Some being hurt really badly, some not feeling anything at all. We're going to look at the latest numbers on unemployment this Thursday. We're going to look at whether individuals, specifically politicians, continue to spin the situation. But we're going to ignore them because we're going to focus on the data. Will labor go back to 260 again this Thursday? And then will we have any other inflationary benchmarks that will give us guidance on how much your benefits are going up? The great news is that housing has been on the same trajectory, so that's a little bit easier to project. And also the great news is that there's a force to must check in every U.S. state. Become a member and become one of these viewers that have done these big, wonderful jobs for them and their families. Get a success story for yourself. You deserve it. You can get it. I feel it across the board. Inspire other people. Get in the live chat and post positivity. Post inspiration. Post your success story. Welcome new members. Become part of a family that's winning over America. Become a member to the Purple Power family. Become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. And I'll see you tonight on Evenings LA. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, have a beautiful day. God bless. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with LA. For more.